Hey everyone, you're watching 10 Minute Scriptures. This is Tim with the Word of Life Church. Let's turn today to the book of Proverbs, chapter 2 and verse 1. Hope everyone is having a blessed day. If you're saved, walking in the will of God, then you are truly blessed. Amen. So let's start reading at verse 1. It says, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee. So even starting out, I believe we should seek the things of the spiritual. You know, a lot of people think we're blessed because we get things of the world, but that's not the case always. See, we can go into debt. A lot of people have a lot of good credit, and we can get things of the world, but be under such a massive weight and be under the usury and be under the weight and owe people which you know god's word tells us actually we're not supposed to be in that way believe it or not so but i believe we should seek the things of the spirit of the spiritual of god and seek that and i believe that bears out in god's word as we will read here in verse two it says so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom Amen. Wisdom. You need to walk a while and experience things to gain the wisdom of God. Walk in His Word. Walk in His ways. Get out into the field, so to speak. And that way, that wisdom will come as seen with the apostles and disciples of the Lord that went on to follow the will of God, to spread the gospel. Eventually, they had the wisdom of God because they walked in the well. Imagine that brother Paul, what all that he went to. And, it, you know, it does say that he went into the desert and he conferred not with flesh and blood, but he went into the desert in Arabia for three years and come back. So he did learn through the spirit of God, but also basically to the end of his life, that man had a lot of wisdom. And so does many today. But it says, so that thou incline thine ear into wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. So we have the wisdom, so now we've got to go through and understanding. Now we have the Word of God. We have the Old Testament, the New Testament. It is up to us to walk the walk in the world today and gain wisdom. And we have the Word of God. We can use that wisdom that the Word of God gives us and the experiences that we have in this world that God allows us to go through and have the Word of God and apply your heart to the Word of God to gain the understanding of the Word of God as we go through the world and gain the wisdom and the experiences that we have. Amen? And also the wisdom that the Word of God gives us. Amen? Praise the Lord. It says, Yea, if thou Christ after knowledge... So I want as much wisdom and knowledge and understanding that God will give me and that I can get out of the Word of God. See, there comes a point when you get older, the things of the world don't mean as much. The stuff of the world don't mean as much. And you realize that. When you're younger, you know, you want to do things. You want, you know, you know, you, I know. When you're young, when you're in your teens, you know, when you get ready to drive, you know, you want a car, you want to, you know, and do stuff and uh, have stuff. And you, younger, when you get started out, you know, you want a house and a car, vehicles and maybe stuff like that. That's understandable. When you're young like that, but once you start getting older, and I, I'm not saying I'm older and over the, you know, the, over the, I hate to say this, no, no offense toward the older people, over the hill. That's not a slide. I'm not being mean. But you start to understand. You know, as I said before, all this is going to, even the elements, it said, is going to melt with a fervent heat. I'm not saying it's bad to have stuff, but apply your heart to the understanding, the wisdom and knowledge of the Word of God. That should be your first priority as far as gaining things first priority is the salvation of your soul amen then all this other stuff will come along with it if you will allow it and seek after it amen yea if thou Christ after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding it all works in con contra together wisdom knowledge 
understanding. It all works together. And see, just as we talk about, about stuff and everything, in verse 4 it says, If thou seekest her, talking about the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, it says, If, the, if thou seekest her as silver, much greater. Much greater. All that is much greater than silver. Uh, stuff that perish, that will perish and, and disappear and, uh, and You'll lose it. It, it. It'll devalue. It'll melt. It'll. It, it, it'll. You know. You'll devalue even. It said, and searches for her as for hid treasures. But let me tell you, the word of God is a treasure. But so many people just toss it aside as as if it's nothing. Toss aside that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as if it's nothing to them. But in verse five it says then. Shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God? So say about the word of God, fear of the Lord, beginning of wisdom. So the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Oh, I desire that knowledge, that wisdom. Believe it as Christians. True, born again. Christ-like Christians walking that walk, walking that holy walk that we're supposed to walk. The Word of God says we're to walk. We should seek after that wisdom and knowledge and understanding to show the world who we are. That show the world that there is a remnant, amen, that there's still a remnant of people that still serve God. That there is still a holy God that is to be worshipped there to be feared but that still loves and still saves verse 6 for the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding one point says ask he said he would give it to you liberally and up rather than not if you just ask him he would give it to you now, I'm not saying he would just give everything and every secret and every deep thing of the Word of God and just dump it all on you at once because none of us could handle all that at once. It is a learning process. We have to study and pray and show ourselves able to have the understanding of all the things of the Word of God and the revelations of the Word of God that he gives us. Which is great. So many things, even up to just a year ago, I might not have thought of. But the Lord has revealed to me up to this point. So many others the same way, up to two years ago. It, 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 you know, so many others had the same thing. So far back, they didn't have certain revelations, but they waited and prayed and studied the Word of God and had direct revelations about things in the Word of God. So that just shows if he can do it for me, do it for these people, he can do it for you, he can do it for us all. If we asked in faith believing, study the Word of God. Write it upon the tables of your heart. Take it in. Find that special time to meditate upon the Lord. After you study the Word of God, Go to him in prayer. Ask him to plant what you've studied in your heart and let it grow. Seek him while he is near. Amen. Most of all, if you're not saved, ask the Lord. If his spirit is drawing you to an altar of repentance, do not turn him away. For the time will come when there will be a cutoff point. If you're not saved, seek the Lord. He is after those that will seek him he wants you to be saved call upon the name of the Lord before it's everlasting too late he won't turn you away all that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved praise the Lord pray for the backslidden and the unsaved they might turn to the Lord before it's everlasting too late and come back to the Lord pray for the sick and afflicted not saved accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior today you will not regret it it'll be the best thing that you've ever done in your life. Amen.
Praise the Lord. This was 10 Minute Scriptures. This was Tim from the Word of Life Church. God bless each and every one of you. Blessings in Christ Jesus on each and every one of you. And we will see you next time. Take care. Bye now.